Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss about dimensional analysis. So we know this physical quality is classified into two types. One is fundamental qualities, the other one is derived qualities. What are all fundamental qualities? Length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. How about these seven fundamental qualities? These three qualities, that is length, mass, and time, are used in mechanics. Are used in mechanics. Now, if I see this derived qualities, I can get an example: area, then another example I think is then velocity. Acceleration, pressure, and so on. Now, these derived quantities can be expressed in terms of some combinations of fundamental quantities or base quantities. So, see the see how area. What is the area? Area of the area is tiny. Length into breadth. Suppose if I take velocity, velocity is equal to what? Displacement. By time, that is equal to displacement by time. Now you see here, this area is a derived quantity, but how combinations of fundamental quantities? So you see velocity, displacement, one fundamental quantity that is length. Time, another one fundamental quantity. Here, so combinations of any fundamental quantities. We can call it as derived quantities. So the derived quantities are known as dimensional of physical world. Dimensional of physical world, and this dimension of physical quantities can be expressed or can be given in the form of square brackets. Can be shown in the form of square brackets. Now for length. What will be the dimension? L with the square bracket. For mass, dimension is m with square bracket. Time, t. Electric current. What do you need for electric current? Ampere. So with that square bracket. For temperature, the unit is Kelvin. So it goes into the square bracket. Amount of substance. Unit is what mole enclosed within the square bracket. Luminous intensity candela Cb square bracket or even pi. Understood? These are all some of the dimensionals of physical quantities. Now, before going into the definition, just we will take an example. Length. What is the first one? A length is what length? L. Area. What is the first one? Length into breadth. What is the dimension for this? L into L. So I can write it as L square. Here the power is one. Then if I take volume. Length into length into height. So dimension for this L, L also L, L. So total is L cube. Now you see these formulas. Here L is a base quantity. Here for all these formulas, the base quantities are same, but the exponent, that is power, are different. Give the Exponents are different. Dimension also different. Clear? I will see the definition. Any physical quantities, any physical quantities, which is expressed in terms of base quantity, any physical quantity which is expressed in the expressed in terms of base quantity, any physical quantity expressed in terms of base quantity. Clear? Whose exponent powers represents the Dimension of physical quality. 
dimension of physical quantity. Understood? Now, what is the power for a constant number? What is the power for the constant number? If the power is zero, the constant is the power will be what? Zero. In your textbook, it is given in page number 31. So, we will discuss some of the physical quantities and the remaining part you practice in home. Okay. Now, first one, length. What is the expression for length? The same one. What is the dimensional formula for length? Well, if I want to represent in the form of MLT, I can write like this. M0 L T 0. Here it is 1. If, if 1, you can put 1, otherwise we can leave it. That is any number for 0, 1. Now what is the unit for length? Meter. Next, we will go for mass. So expression mass unit is that is dimension formula is m or I can write m L0 E0. What is the unit? Kilogram. Next we we'll go for time. Expression time. Dimensional formula T or I can write the image is second. Yes. Next I can go for area. What is the expression for the area of a rectangle? Length into breadth. What is the dimension for length? L. Yes. This one for breadth also the same dimension. What is the answer now? L and then L square. So I can rearrange in the form of M0 L square T0. What is the unit for Area meter square. Understood. Next, volume. What is the expression for volume? Length into breadth into height. For length, for the dimension formula L. For breadth, L. For height also, this measure is length, so it is also L. So total, we are in one. L cube. We will we'll have the L cube. Or I can write like this M0 L cube T0. What is the unit for volume? Here what L? What is the unit for length? Meter. Here 3. So meter cube. Here. Next we will go for density. So what is the formula for density? Mass by volume. Density is what? Mass by Volume. Mass is a fundamental quantity. Volume derived one. So convert it into fundamental one. So I can write mass divided by volume. I can write length into breadth into height. Now mass is fundamental one. This all the things are fundamental quantities. Now go for dimensional formula for mass. What is the dimension one? Yeah. 
length L. Yeah, breadth measured in length. Shape. So L. Here also L. So total it is L Q. Now I can rewrite this one as M L Q. Bring it to the numerator. So L minus T. This is the dimensional formula for density. Now write the units. Now this is the units for m. Nothing but what? Mass. So unit is kilogram. Length. Unit is meter. This minus 3. Yes. Bring it to the numerator e minus 2. 
This one is the dimensional formula for acceleration. Now, what is the unit? L. This meter time. This is m power minus two. So, for acceleration, it is m s minus two. Next moment time. What is the formula for momentum? So the simple for momentum is T. Uh, formula is mass into velocity. So momentum is equal to mass into velocity. Mass is a fundamental quantity. V, it is derived one. So convert it into fundamental. So mass into velocity for the formula displacement by time. Velocity formula is displacement by time. Now fundamental, this one is fundamental, this also fundamental. Now we go for dimensional formula. For mass, dimension is what? Yeah. Displacement. L. Time. T. Bring it to the numerator. It becomes what now? E power minus 1. This is the dimensional formula for momentum. Now we we'll go for the unit. For mass, I can write that what? Kilogram. For length, meter. For time, second. So power minus 1. This is about momentum. Clear? Now, next we will go for force. What is the formula for force? F is equal to mass into acceleration. F is equal to MA. It is mass into acceleration. So, mass into acceleration. What is the formula for acceleration? Change in velocity by time. So, mass into velocity. What is the formula for velocity? Displacement by time over by this time now mass into displacement by bring this time to here it becomes time square understood now mass is a fundamental this one is fundamental time is also fundamental now we go for dimensional formula mass M. Yeah. Displacement. Yes. Time t. So square. Bring it to the numerator. It becomes e power minus 2. The dimensional formula for force is m l e power minus 2. Now we will write the unit for mass kilogram. Length meter time second power minus two or I can write this one as kilogram meter per second square this is nothing but what newton the other unit for force is newton here yeah. Into velocity displacement by time. This 
displacement by time this time say because what now time square divided by plane into breadth let's so, see now i can write this one as mass into displacement divided by this time square it comes here so length into breadth into time square now you can write the dimensional formula for m for mass it is m for displacement it is l here i can write now hmm okay. Yeah. So for mass, it is yeah. For displacement, it is yeah. Then and then, so it becomes what the yeah square. This time, p square. Now this dimension yeah. Here yeah, yeah. is l square. Bring it to the numerator. It becomes what. Yeah, it is this power one. It yeah, is power two. So one minus two. Then this one is what? T square. How I can write down this one? Yam L minus one T. Get this T power minus two. Bring it numerator. So Yam L minus one T power minus two is the Dimensional formula for pressure. Now we write the unit for this mass kilogram. Then m minus one time s minus two. Now there is another formula. Sorry, there is another unit for pressure is now what is this one? Force by area. What is the unit for force? Newton. Area length into depth for this m square. So I can write it as this one as Newton m minus two. I can write this also like this. Or this is nothing but Pascal. It is nothing but what Pascal. So for pressure or stress, the unit or kilogram per meter per second square. Or I can call it as Pascal, or I can call it as Newton per meter square. Next we will see impulse. So the formula for impulse is force into time. Force into time. What is the formula for force? Mass into acceleration into Time. So mass into acceleration, velocity by time into time. So cancel. So mass velocity is what is displacement by time. Now the other is our fundamental one. Now we go for dimensional formula for this mass m. Displacement by well, time t becomes numerator. So m l t minus one. So now we we'll go for the unit. So mass it is kilogram per length meter per time. Yes. So kilogram meter per second. The other unit for impulse is force. What do you mean for force? Newton. Time. Okay, so n yes. These are the units for impulse. Next, what is what we can call it as energy. So, what is the formula for what? What is the equal force into displacement? 
force into displacement or force force into acceleration into this displacement so mass into acceleration velocity by time into displacement so mass velocity is displacement by time here one time so it becomes time square into displacement now this is all it is in the form of fundamental so what the unit for mass sorry what the dimension for mass for mass m yeah. displacement l here one displacement so l square time t bring it to the numerator so t minus 2 t power minus 2 now what is the unit for this for mass kilogram for length meter for time this is so minus 2 Now the other unit for what is for force newton displacement meter or this newton meter I can call it as joule. So the unit for what is joule. Next we will go to power. Unit. What will be the unit for angular velocity? 
this one unit is radian by time is second so i can write this one as radian per second this is now next we will go coefficient of elasticity coefficient of elasticity what is the formula for coefficient of elasticity stress by strain stress by strain so this stress even i can call it as pressure what is the formula for pressure force by area formula for formula for pressure is force by area what is force mass into acceleration mass into acceleration divided by area you can write length into breadth so mass acceleration is what change in velocity by time velocity by time so mass into velocity is displacement by time displacement by time so here again breadth here on time so already there is one time so square now you see all are in fundamental part now what is the dimension for m mass m for displacement L. For this, this one, L. Here one, L. So I can write L square. Here, E square. Now you take it in the numerator side. M. Here L. Here one. R is one. Here two. So it becomes minus two. This one is E. Minus two. So I can write m l minus one e minus two. This is the dimensional formula for stress or pressure. Now we calculate for strain. For strain, this change in length. Change in Length by original length. Change in length by original length. So dimension for length, L. Original length, L. So dimensional radius, diamond, dimensional length. So there is no dimension for strain. Now we come for coefficient of elasticity. So coefficient of elasticity is what stress by strain. What the dimension for stress? M L minus one P minus two. For strain, no dimension. So therefore, the dimension for coefficient of elasticity is M L minus one P minus two. Clear? Now we we'll go for the unit. So, you need this one again. Like I mentioned, for force, what is the unit? Newton. 
area. So it means n m minus two newton per meter square. Newton per meter square is nothing but what? Or nothing but what? Pascal. It is the clear term. So coefficient of elasticity the unit is newton m minus two or Pascal. Okay. Next we go for gravitational constant. So gravitational constant, or is what we call the dimensional formula. So that is the formula f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square. Now g is called as gravitational constant. Now cross multiply. So g is equal to f into r square by m1 m2. That is nothing but what force. Force on the formula mass into acceleration. This one is radius. So r square. This this for masses. So m1 m2. Now mass acceleration change in velocity by sine. Change in velocity by Time into r square. This m1 m2. M1 m2. So mass into velocity displacement by time. Displacement by time into r square. Then this m1 m2 this time so it becomes sine square. So now all are in fundamental quantities. Now we will write the dimensional formula for this. So m for displacement l this one is what radius so length so l square. M1, M2. So, M square. This one, T square. Now, M. We are power is one. We are two. So one minus two. L. We are power is one. So, numerator itself so we must add. Then t minus two, so m minus one value q t minus two. This is the dimensional formula for gravitational constant. Now we will write unit. Force. What is the unit for force? Newton. This one is what radius. So m square by m1 m2. So kilogram. So kilogram square. So I can write newton meter square kilogram minus two newton meter square kilogram minus two is the unit. Next, Planck constant. So there is a formula for Planck's constant. E is equal to x mu. This x is called Planck's constant. So now I want to find out the dimension for x. So x is equal to e by mu. The mu is nothing but frequency. Mu is nothing but frequency. So I can write x is equal to e by Frequency is nothing but reciprocal of time period. That is, mu is equal to one by t. So, h is equal to e 
this t becomes the numerator. So e into time period t. E is nothing but what? Energy. Energy. Otherwise, you can call it as what? What? So energy into time. So energy into time. So energy is nothing but what? What? What is the formula for what? Force into displacement into this time. Yes. So force is what? Mass into acceleration. Mass into acceleration into displacement into time. So mass acceleration change in velocity by time. So velocity by velocity by time into displacement into time. Time and time cancel. So mass into velocity displacement by time into displacement. Now all here. They are in the fundamental quantities. Now you write the dimensional formula for Planck's constant. M displacement L here only displacement. So it becomes L square times d power minus one. This will be the dimensional formula for Planck's constant. Here now we write the units. Energy. What is the unit for energy? Joule. So, Planck's constant for this, I am going to write unit. P e is what? Energy. Unit is joule. P e is what? Time. Unit is second. So, joule second will be the will be the unit for Planck's constant. You see, Faraday's constant. So, Faraday's constant for the formula elementary charges, elementary charges into Avogadro constant. Elementary charges into Avogadro constant. What is the formula for charge? Q is equal to I into T. So, I into T. Avogadro constant was 6.023 into 10 power 23 per mole. 23 per mole. Now, what is the dimensional formula for current A? For time T. For this amount of substance. So, per mole. This will be the Dimensional formula for Faraday's constant. Now we will go for unit. For elementary charge, charge for the unit, coulomb. Avogadro for the constant, unit is mole. So coulomb per mole will give unit for Faraday's constant. Energy divided by temperature. Energy divided by temperature. So we know that what is the dimension for dimension formula for energy? ML square T minus 2. For temperature, Kelvin. So I can write M L square T minus 2 Kelvin. Per Kelvin. This will use a Boltzmann constant dimensional formula. I will go for unit. So energy joules. 
for temperature kelvin so joules per kelvin will give the unit for boltzmann constant so next we will see physical qualities this physical qualities are classified into two types dimensional and dimensional less this dimensional has classified into two forms variable and constant that is dimensional variables dimensional constant like that dimensional less has classified into two types that is variables and constant that is dimensional less variables dimensional less constant this dimensional less means what no unit associated with it now dimensional variables means dimension plus variable values dimensional constant means dimension and constant value dimensional less variables means no dimension but variable values will be there dimensional less constant means no dimension and it will have constant value now let us see an example for each one for example for dimensional variables i can take length this length has dimension what is the dimension for length l it has variable values l is equal to 4 cm l is equal to 5 cm and so on so like that i can give an example like speed and velocity acceleration for dimensional variables now we will go for dimensional constant that is dimension plus constant value example gravitational constant planck's constant etc now we will see gravitational constant g is equal to f r square by m1 m2 this is the formula for gravitational constant if you substitute the dimension for each thing finally we will get m minus 1 l cube p minus 2 this will be the dimensional formula for gravitational constant so it has dimension now you see this g has constant value 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square kilogram minus 2 newton meter square kilogram minus 2 so this gravitational constant has dimension same time there what constant value next we will go for dimensionless variables so refractive index on the formula velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in medium what is velocity dimension lt minus 1 here lt minus 1 close cancel so dimensional less so dimensional less so no dimension but it has variable values so refractive index for glass is 1.5 refractive index for water refractive index for water is 1.33 refractive index for diamond is 2.4 so no dimension refractive index has no dimension but it has variable values this will give dimensionless variables next we will go for dimensionless constant if i take pi it is a constant no dimension it has constant value 3.14 if we take 2 no dimension for 2 but it has a constant value it is clear principle of homogeneity of dimensions it is two more questions the last thing two more questions this principle of homogeneity of dimensions now we will see an example then i will define what is principle of homogeneity so we know that equations of motion v equal to u plus a t 
this is equal to u p plus of a b square b square equal to u square plus two a s. So I will consider one equation that is b square equal to u square plus two a s. This one a physical expression. Now write the dimension for each term. That is for b square you write the dimensional formula. For u square you write the dimensional formula, and for two a s you write the dimensional formula. V is equal to one velocity. What the dimension for that? L p minus one whole square. For this velocity, L p minus one whole square. Two constant dimensional s a for acceleration. L p minus one. And this is what displacement. It becomes L. Now, how I can write this one? L square p minus two. L square p minus two. It also L square p minus two plus L square p minus two. Now, in this physical expression, you see all the this is one term, this is one term, this is one term. You see all the terms. They are all same in each term. All the terms in a physical expressions should be same. Then why can then we can call it as principle of homogeneity of dimensions. So today we will stop up with this. So today what are the topics I have seen? Dimensional formula, then dimensionless variable, dimensionless constant, dimensional variable, dimensional constant. Then we will discuss about. principle of homogeneity of dimensions thank you